All right, so sorry we had to be on Zoom today. Usually this doesn't happen, um, but helps me out because I can do a live trade today on fucking YouTube with my face in it. So that's cool. Um, anyways, let's get started on this analysis. We have like 12 minutes to get it done before market opens, but it's okay because we have, boom, pending home sales. Uh, 30 minutes into market open and I won't be trading until then. Um, so with that being said, let's jump right into this. Um, as I was saying on the S&P, we did recently sweep out these daily lows and fill in like the last little bit of this daily fair value gap. Um, my next draws on this would really just be these like four hour lows and then from there, boom. These, I think daily lows. Yeah, these daily lows all the way down here. Remember what I was saying, how I wanted price to draw into this accumulation area if we ended up pushing past mink, mink, um, this monthly fair value gap, okay? And we still have five days to kind of wick back up, up here, but if we close below this fair value gap, you know, we could be seeing some capitulation. Who knows, we have this accumulation area here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what it's, um, what it's looking like right now. Um, but that's just high time frame. On low time frame, we're bearish on the daily, um, bearish on the four hour. We do have that news that's coming in. We're currently within this four hour imbalance right here with this, with the top of the imbalance um, being the previous day's low. So that's kind of high confluence for me. Um, what I would want price to do um, would honestly be to fill up up into this imbalance. And as we can see, we have a pretty violent um, one hour imbalance and pretty violent 15 minute imbalance along with this 15 minute order block right here. Um, so what I would want price to do would really be fill the majority of this imbalance, if not push even higher into maybe this four hour imbalance or all the way up into this four hour imbalance and then look for shorts. Once again, because on the daily we're bearish, four hour we're bearish, hourly we're not necessarily bearish. However, higher time frames hold higher power, daily and four hour are bearish, okay? Um, we could be potentially looking for like, I honestly think this might be like a, we wait a little bit and that's honestly good for us because we have to wait for pending home sales anyways, but we have to wait for price to get up into these high confluence, higher time frame building block areas for us to find shorts. Um, and I'm okay with that. So yeah, that's what it's looking like on um, the S&P bearish bias. If I don't see anything um, that I like, then I won't take it. Let's move over to NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, similarly, we swept out these um, relative equal daily lows right here. And we also started filling in the, uh, this fair value gap. I marked out before, boom, this four hour fair value gap. I don't know why this was off. Um, I marked out this four hour for value gap. We have the top of it right here, which we're currently wicking out due to us sweeping this liquidity. We have the 50% of this um, fair value gap, which should have the middle line on there. Oh, yeah, it's because I already placed that line there. Um, with, uh, and we place this line as like the 50% mark of that fair value gap. And then I place another line down here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the box now. Um, so we can just see it by lines and not have a big ass gray box in the middle of our screens. But um, that is kind of what I see for NASDAQ. Um, very similar to the S&P. We have, boom, the previous day's low right here. And that is in confluence with the top of this four hour fair value gap, which we're currently above the 50% mark on. But again, similar to the S&P, I'm completely open to this thing coming up, maybe even sweeping these hourly highs and filling more of this four hour fair value gap. Those hourly highs are pretty much in line with these, the top of this four hour fair value gap. Um, let's see where the hourly highs are on this one. Yeah, pretty much the start of this four hour fair value gap. So um, even though the hourly is technically bullish, um, I am looking for some bearish moves due to the four hour and the daily being bearish. But because of that as well, like we have to understand, hey, on the four hour, where could this potentially retrace to? We have equilibrium. 
sitting all the way the fuck up here in this for value gap. So who knows if we're even going to take a trade today if we get, you know, like confirmation. I'm going to have to wait for a lot of confirmation um, just because the lower time frames right now are saying bullish, um, but the higher, higher time frames are saying uh, bearish. So maybe we wait for like a five minute break of structure and then start looking for entries off like five minute fair value gaps because this is technically going off of like higher time frame building blocks, not necessarily a one hour building block because again, on the one hour, we're bullish, um, but on the four hour and the daily, we're bearish. And we gotta understand that we're reacting off of sweeps of liquidity right now. Um, this looks ugly as hell. Um, we're reacting off sweeps of liquidity right now. So we want to keep that in our minds and if price dumps and falls during pre-market, um, which is about to be over in five minutes and like fills in this fair value gap and then rallies higher, that's honestly better for us because we have to sit here and wait for um, news to hit at 10 anyways. Um, I would honestly like to see price get higher and higher and then look for shorts from there um, and not necessarily look for shorts like off this, off this order block. I kind of want to see shorts happening within here, within here, um, and on NASDAQ, like at least above, you know, like this first fair value gap. Because I do think that this liquidity sweep and this volume that we have right now is going to... Um, it's going to cause for like a higher time frame retrace and on the four hour and on the daily, like where would that retrace kind of be? Probably somewhere within here. So that's the game plan. Um, gotta, kinda gonna sit back, relax. We'll toss on some fucking music while we chill out, wait for news. Um, news hits in about 35 minutes. So we do have some time. Let's uh, just, Sit back, chill, relax. Market just opened. We broke five minute structure, so that's given us like, hey, given us some bearish confluence, but again, I wanna see at least this four, this four minute or four hour um, fair value gap get filled to the top, which it looks like we're doing on NASDAQ, NASDAQ smoking on that gas bag. Top of that four hour fair value gap. Again, I don't give no fucks because news hasn't dropped yet. So we broke structure on the five minute on both these after hitting that four hour fair value gap, or yeah, top of the four hour fair value gap. Again, I don't really care, because we have news. I'm playing this shit safe. What I do care about is this head banging song. Thank you. 
That's why we wait for noons. Peep the 15 minute shit. What was we doing? For retracing. Do I still think this is bearish? Absolutely. But that's why. This is this is where the market experience comes to play. This is what y'all are paying for. News comes out in 11 minutes. TJR before he found trading. But on the five minute, we, ne we broke structure to the downside, never broke back to the upside. Same thing on gas pack. On the one minute, we never broke structure back to the upside, which is great. We see a fair value gap get formed right here. On gas pack, we broke structure again to the downside, never ended up breaking back to the upside. And we have an imbalance right here. So we have, yeah, like 10 minutes until news comes out. We'll see if any of those end up getting hit. Um, and if they do, and we get a reaction, <laughs> and we get a reaction, I'll be looking to short. Cause look, this 15 minute looks fucking bomb. Bro, I feel so bad because like, I only call NASDAQ gas pack and I, <laughs> I just know like 15 year olds and like fucking high schoolers, like parents are gonna be like, how did trading go today? And y'all are gonna be like, I fucking killed it on NASDAQ, NASDAQ smoking on that gas pack. <laughs> like some, some stupid shit like that, bro. Like, come on, man. How much more gay, like, looks like I'm on my knees again. <sighs> and I'm singing that shit. <laughs> That's how I imagine he was creating this song. Anyways, four minutes till Mark not till market up four minutes till news drops um, we got this five minute fair value gap right here we could come back into this one minute fair value gap both of these are still very valid SP has this one and this one honestly SP is looking like a better setup just because gas pack has fallen so much we'll see where price wants to go all right news comes out in 10 seconds we'll see what it does if it does anything to the market gonna do about it, bitch. Damn. All right, so I really don't care about what news came out as bearish uh, literally every single news today was bearish um so what am i waiting for i'm waiting for any of these fair value gaps to get hit and then give me a reaction if this shit will load 
There we go. Okay, so NASDAQ filled in this one and it's given us some action, but if I'm being honest, guys, I don't really want to take NASDAQ. If I do want to take NASDAQ, it'll be off this five minute imbalance right here or this one up here. I don't really want to take this super short term <coughs> imbalance. Um, again, like I said before, I'm, I would ideally take the S&P trade. Um, and right now we have imbalance here and up here. Um, and for gas pack, I would ideally like to see um, not this get hit. I'm just going to go ahead and purely mark out the five minute imbalances on this now, um, which is right here and right here. Oh, 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 okay. Wait to see if this. So we made this fair value gap. We got a fair value gap here, fair value gap here, fair value gap up here. NASDAQ, we have these two five minute fair value gaps. Um, again, like I said before, ideally we see these get hit. If we don't, no trade. But again, do I care if I don't take a trade today? No, why? Because our bias was just like mink, you know? Like, that's how it's been all fucking month. Like, we really have been sniping the fuck out of our bias every single day. And as long as we keep doing that, bread will be coming in by the, by the fucking thousands, by the hundreds of thousands. This dead ass the really the only way I can keep trading enjoyable for me. Fucking tweaking to house music, bro. I swear if I didn't have music during trading, I wouldn't be doing this shit. I would love to see Nasdaq get up on in here. Perfect. We got one of our fair value gaps hit. We'll see if it wicks it out, gives us a reaction. If we close above this, perfect, on to the next. And if it wants to react like that, like fucking bearish, then we'll rip that. Time to get the phone out. Closes like that, I'm in it. Yeah, I'm in that. I just sold the SP. I'm doing like low risk on this. Short this. Then, really, in terms of like stop, first take profit's going to be right here, these 15 minute lows. <coughs> For a stop, I really would want to put my shit, oops. I really would want to put my shit all the way up here. And I'm okay with having a shit risk reward on this because it's low risk and I'm protecting myself from this five minute imbalance getting hit. 
And for me, like all the way up here, right, I'm safe from that. And something nice is like when we hit take profit one, if we do, I can immediately chop the fucking, um, chop that stop loss right back down. Or once we get to like certain areas, right? Like even on the five minute, like if we can break below here, perfect. Maybe we move the stop loss above here. Know what I'm saying? But I'd rather play it safe above here than sorry. NASDAQ still hasn't gotten anywhere near where we're looking for. We're already in this trade on the S&P. Let's leave it as is. Um, let's go ahead and find all our other take profits real quick. Wait, hold on. the bottom of this hourly fair value gap even though it's been filled and I want to see on the 15 minute what it looks like over here just because that hourly drop is real low yeah perfect and then we already have this and that's fine yeah that's good enough for me so we have a couple like super short interim take profits and then we have like extendo clips all the way down here Looks like we're still ducking this. Um, NASDAQ, no movement. Interested to see if this thing just like rips down. Or really, just see what it wants to do. Let me go on here real quick. Alright man, we shall see, we shall see. NASDAQ seems like it's just gonna continue rolling. are pretty solid so far. Let me go back to 15 minutes real quick. I can't even tell if this is a 15 minute low or not. I don't even want to classify it as one. I mean, you could, but it's whatever. If, I, if that was a take profit, that would just be like ultimate shit risk to reward. probably have like out of all the day traders I have the longest tongue have to ready you know like 
Like, I'm digging. I can hit the top of that shit. Like, not just... Not that baby shit. Like, the top of that shit. Digging in that shit. You know, so... Um, also, no, I'm not actually... I'm not fucking trading chart patterns. But, yeah, this shit's taking forever. Odds are, it probably will fill this five-minute fair value gap. Within here. If not, it'll probably just go down after this consolidation. Gas pack's been fucking chilling, not really doing shit. Uh, same with the S&P. We really entered, and then the S&P was like... Time to not move at all. Right, so since it closed underneath here, or since it closed not underneath this low, odds are, again, like I've been saying, we'll probably come up and fill this five minute fair value gap. Or make a doji on the 15 and fill in this 15 minute fair value gap. Stuck and draw down for a brick, but hey, man. Part of trading, what are you gonna do? I know a lot of people got super sized about seeing this big black candle close underneath here. That's why you gotta scale out higher time frames, see what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and then literally just mark out that 15 minute fair value gap from here, mank, down to here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the fair value gap that we entered off of. Cause we already seen that shit. We can keep an eye on the top of it right here. Something we definitely don't wanna get caught up on would be like price coming here, like make sure your stops are right like here and then like give your give it room to work from above here just because, right? Sometimes we see shit like this where we wick up here and then still come down on the 15 minute and it's still playing within this imbalance. But you might get stopped, you know? But we're still waiting for this 15 minute candle to close. We just swept out these five minute highs. We'll see if we break above here. If we break above here, we're for sure coming into this imbalance. Odds that we get all the way up here, I would say pretty likely. If we break five minute structure. NASDAQ is still in the deep end right now, which gives me more bearish comfort, like, I guess more of a bearish bias on uh, the S&P. I don't know if that closed above. It looks like it did. Where was the low of this? 41650? 41650. No, they were equal. I don't know why it shows that this high like kind of closed above it, but it didn't. Still respecting this one minute. We're filling in the five minute and the 15 minute now, which is honestly good. Literally just sit here, see what price wants to give. We filled in the 50% mark of it.
I'd like to see what it does off this five minute fair value gap. See if it closes below here. Kind of leave my cursor on it. All right, so we wicked this out. Still a potential to go higher. 15 minute, got within this 50% mark. So I'm gonna stay back down on the one minute. We filled in this imbalance right in here. Wicked this perfectly as well. So let's see what price wants to do from here. So monitoring this low, because if we do close below this, that, that to me is super strong bearish comp. For sure, super strong bearish confirmation. Um, it looks like we just closed below there. So, awesome. To me, that's pretty strong bearish confirmation. Could we come all the way back up here? Yeah, sure. Um, but I do like that, that candle close. So we filled that 50% mark of the 15 minute five minute we wicked it out close below on the one minute I kind of like that all right so we're moving down after that break of structure um, pretty solidly we'll see where price wants to go Plays. 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 Who's your dad? Please give me milky. Please, I want a milky take profit. Please. Oh, yeah, finally, we broke that low. Lit. This is a decent song. Give me tech profit, please give me tech profit one. All right, so we just finished this trade. Shit ended up stopping us out. I gave a couple options to the people. I personally went with the option of, okay, even if we hit this, we still had, I deleted one of them. We still had this fair value gap and this one. So I was waiting to see if we were going to close above this or not. If we close above it, I was like, bet I'm going to be completely out because what would happen if we just wicked this, came all the way back down on the 15 minute and ended up still closing underneath here. This trade would still be valid. So I said, you can either, you know, have your hard stop loss above here, which some people did, or you can wait, give yourself more room to work. Boom, stops above here or once it closes above here and lose some bread, like lose bread if we close above here, manual stop loss type of thing. That's what I did. Ended up getting stopped at or manually stopping myself out once we close above here because from there, no other imbalances. So from here, what would I be looking for on um, the s and I'll be looking for this fair value gap to get hit or maybe 
you know, we're, we're still bearish on the 15 minute, but on the one hour, we're bullish, right? We filled in this fair value gap and that's what ended up pushing us, boom, all the way up here. So for me, that leads me to believe, all right, we are going to target, boom, boom, this fair value gap within here, or boom, boom, this fair value gap within here. NASDAQ is kind of playing the same game. It could potentially still reverse off of this 15 minute, but based off the S&P and what it's doing, it'll probably continue to the upside. But yeah, lost today, one fucking, we're now like two, three, or four take profits away from hitting a 300K month. We'll see if I can get some action done um, tomorrow on Friday. If not, then uh, we do have consumer sentiment tomorrow, so I'm going to play it relatively safe. Um, and yeah, with that being said, um, obviously this was traded live with the Discord and hopefully you guys are enjoying live trades. Um, I Today was like weird because I had to increase the like Discord capacity for people to watch me on there. Um, so we had to do it on Zoom. So you guys got a face, ca face cam. Um, I'm still waiting for the other face cam to come in. Um, so most of the other most of the other live trades probably won't have my face on it um, until I get that other face cam. Today was just like, uh, I guess, a lucky day for you guys to see my face um, while I was trading. But for the most part, I will only be able to show my face once the Discord call is over. But that being said, I appreciate y'all. Little reminder, fucking Discord sale is still going on right now. It ends on Halloween night. Okay, um, I'm pretty much calling this the fucking Halloween sale. Um, don't fucking get FOMO um, of me making stupid bread this month and having to buy later on if I do end up hitting the fucking 300K mark for this month. You guys see that and be like, I want to take TGR's trades. And then like what happens when I have a losing week? You guys start screaming and crying. Um, so <laughs> yeah, just take that in mind. Uh, if you guys want to watch me trade live, obviously we lost today, but, um, we've been fucking killing it this month regardless. Um, but with that being said, I appreciate you guys. I will see you guys probably tomorrow if I end up taking a trade. And I know I've only been doing trade recaps for this past week. Um, we have a bunch of more like fun YouTube video ideas that we've been making and editing. They're just kind of sitting like backloading so we can get ahead of some shit and then we'll start uploading them next week. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Mine. Man, this is what we're doing right now. This is where we closed. Close this shit right here. Now we was just trying to react off this this 15 minute order block. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. It's hype, though. I'm hype. It's okay. I'm okay. I promise. I'm okay. I'm going to keep telling myself I'm okay. Cause maybe then I'll believe it. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.